Yo, this is Itama Place, Pokemon Black 2. We are con in the reverse of the mountain, but if we go to this place, well... We can continue for a bit more. But that's only we get to here, and then... Oh, and Delatown is right through here! I wanna keep looking around a bit more. What do you wanna do? Shall we say bye for now? So if you do say yes, you'll go out to another town and uh, she'll no longer follow you. If you do say now, no, you'll be forced to remain in the Reversal Mountain. But at least she'll be staying with you so you can fight and heal a bit more of your health. So it's a bit up to you how you want to do it. But we are here to progress, aren't we? So let's just uh, say yes. Okay then, I want to do a little more research around Heathrow anyway. Thank you for coming with me. Be careful on the rest of your journey. No problem, Bianca. We'll talk to you later. Let's go through here. And we have arrived at Andela Town. Of course, Andela Town. This is a bit new one in Andela Town. There was no place like this before. Because, of course, Traversal Mountain is new in Generation 5 in terms of Black 2 and White 2. A lot of cool stuff here. And then we also have the Marine Tube. Marine Tube is a, uh, shall we say, a uh, transit place between uh, Humalao City and Andela Town. Humalao City of course is a new place in uh, Black 2 and White 2, but if you want to go to Humalao City right away, there'll be a janitor here and it'll be saying it's no longer not eligible to go here. Sorry, I'll be finished with clean soon. Please wait until then. Yes, you won't be able to love to go here after you've been before you've been to Opalicit City. So once you've went to Opalicit City, you can come back here and we can go to Humalao City. Let's go to our Pokemon Center and heal. Or actually, we don't need to do that because we already have Bianca with us. Maybe we want to buy some items though. You should probably buy some Pokeballs because there might be a time very soon where we're going to find some legendary Pokemon. Or at least some pseudo legendary Pokemon. So make sure you have a lot of Ultra Balls ready to go. I have 26 now. We can Ace and ramp that up to 24. Then we have 50. That'll be good for me. This also means you probably should buy some potions so you can stay alive. Let's bring uh, 21 more, so we have 30. Revives, always important, because if you get knocked out, you don't want that to happen. Let's bring uh, 16 more, so we have a total of uh, 20. And of course, make sure you buy a velo or all the rest, and uh, buy some repels in the end. Let's buy uh, 12 more, so we have 25 in total. It'll be useful. So much cash already wasted, that's fine though. We'll get some more as we're gonna fight some trainers as we continue the game progression. And yeah, I don't really need to heal my Pokemon, but let's just pretend we got ourselves injured a bit. So make sure you heal your Pokemon in the Pokemon Center before we're gonna move on to the next place. There we go. Well, this place has a bit of cool things. I don't know much to do here right now in the spring, but in the summer, activity goes up. Also on the right side here, you have the Andela Bay. This place you can surf around to fight some trainers. But generally, there's not much to do here right now, because there are some dark paths in the water, which you can use to dive. But we won't be getting dive before later on in the game, so no, no need to go here for now. But there's more cool things we can check as well. This house. This villa belongs to Caitlyn, one of the Pokemon elites, Elite 4. Yeah, Caitlyn is one of the Elite 4 still in this game, but if you do play, remember playing Black and White, there was someone else who was in the Pokemon League before who we fought in Black and White. And that was a very tough battle, if I recall. But other than that, there's not really much to do. You can also go inside here where we have the riches. I wonder why only the father and the riches stayed here. I hear that the shops in Joint Avenue are run by amazing Pokemon trainers. Okay, I can't lose to them. I'm getting excited about this. As you can see, I'm an ultra-rich billionaire. And as you can see, my hobby is to collect rare items. In fact, this outfit is ultra-expensive and rare. Can you see it? Can you? There's something that this billionaire wants to get his hands on, even if it means spending a lot of money. Do you have such a rare item, do you? You don't have a rare item, do you? Yeah, so this guy wants to collect something 
rare. So if you get the special rare item he wants, come back to him and he will be very happy. When you're ready, go to the gate and then a certain someone shows up. Wait up! Ah, oh, it's you! Hello! Let's see how well you raised your Pokémon! Yes, it's time for another rival battle with you! Let's see if he has changed up a bit from last time we fought. Pretty sure he has. He has three Pokémon this time, and the first one will be Unpheasant. Yeah, he also has a male Unpheasant, level 39. I'll use my minus on first. That'll be a good counter against the Unpheasant. So, we'll go with Electro Ball. Unpheasant, it will use Detect. Mean that my Electro Ball will fail. And we're just going to do another turn. Taunt from Unpheasant. Mean that I have to use uh, attacking moves in the next turn. Electro Ball used against Unpheasant. I'll be doing a lot of damage, but not enough. Unpheasant will survive. Let's do it, partner! Yeah, let's do it. Electro Ball again. You with Hyper Potion. On the pheasant, I will be healing him back to full. That means I can just do another Electro Ball. And let's see if I can kill it this time, or if it will still survive at very, very low health. It will still survive at low health, unfortunately for us, but that means we just have to do it one more time. Detect. Once again, the Electro Ball will fail. So, kind of waste to be used by the pheasant, but at least it will be dropping off my, uh, my, my PP. All the way down to 6 out of 10. Taunt again. That means uh, again I can only use moves that can deal damage to Unpheasant. I cannot use passive moves. Electro Ball used on Unpheasant. And this time though, the Unpheasant will go down. Which is exactly what we want. Next up will be Embor. Embor, of course, is starter and it's a fire fighting starter. So make sure to use something that can counter it. The ground does well, as well does water. Um, what do we even have a ground moves now? Um, I have dig. I have bulldoze as well. But Krokorok is a bit physically weak, so... Uh, I think I'll use Krokorok anyways. He's higher level, and uh, he's pretty offensive. Krokorok in versus the Embor. And of course the fully evolved version of Tepic. So be careful, this one will hurt. He's a fire fighting dual type. So we can go with Dig or Bulldoze here. I'll go with Dig. Dig does more damage, but doesn't reduce speed like Bulldoze does. Like it matters. And we'll take down, but no one to be hit there. We go Dig from Krokorok onto Embor. Embor is tanky though, so he can take it. Take down used on the Krokorok. And that's almost a one-hit KO there, but luckily we will survive. Let's use Bulldoze now. Shaking it the ground. That'll be enough, and the Embor will go down. That's a very nice victory there for Krokorok. He'll get a Moxiproc, which means attack power will go up by one. A lot of XP here from him and Growlithe. Growlithe will go to level 33. Last Pokemon from here will be Simipore, so he's gonna have a water type. Now we have to switch. We don't want to use water against uh, Simipore. Let's use grass instead. Let's get in my Servine as the Pokemon of choice against the Simipore of Hue. So uh, you go with Leaf Blade, and if you take damage, you switch to uh, Mega Drain. Here comes the Leer from uh, Simipore. I'm using my defense. Leaf Blade will land, doing uh, just above half damage. I'm counting on you! We're gonna do it one more time. Here comes Leaf Blade number two. First, it's gonna be Scald. A water move that can cause a burn, which is kinda cool. Not very effective, but the burn will land though! Leaf Blade comes in, will it be enough? And the answer to that is no! The burn reduces my attack power too much, and my Simi Poor uh, Servine battle will continue for one more round. Let's go with Mega Drain. Scald again, onto Servine. Damage, of course, will be reduced, but I'm still hitting with a burn. Mega Drain is used on uh, Simipore. I need to heal some health, and Simipore will go down. Servine will get some XP here, same with Growlithe, and the battle is won.
I couldn't even draw my team's real strength. How pathetic. Great. If you're this strong, Team Plasma will run screaming when they see us. I won't let them get away, though. Her purloin. I'll get it back for sure. So, Sitano, keep helping me out. Also, continue to work hard on the Pokédex. You're the one who was officially asked to complete it, after all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get it done. One day. M maybe. <laughs> I will, come on. I won't be that lame to say I won't be doing it, but then again, she is a bit uh, needy in my opinion, but that's fine though. Let's heal up a bit. And now we're gonna go upwards. So if we play black and white, you were actually coming from the north, heading further south, but we won't be doing it this time. Instead, we're gonna head north now. We'll go through this uh, gate. And on the other side, we'll be entering. Route 13. Route 13. We're just gonna keep on heading uh, northwards towards uh, Lacanosa Town. Of course, we won't be going here without facing trainers. Ay ay ay! Yeah! yeah! We have a battle girl waiting to battle us. Let's see what this battle girl wants to do. Battle girl Alice. She has one Pokemon that will be Scrafty. Alright. Remember again, Scrafty is a dark and fighting type, meaning that it has no longer a weakness of a psychic, but still weak to its own type of fighting though, so we'd be a bit careful. No serious flash cannon, but remember that fighting is resistant to steel. So and uh, dark is not really had an effect on it, so let's go Electro Ball on to Scrafty. We're used on Scrafty. Damage is not very high. Scary face onto uh, Magnezone. I mean, my speed will go down. I mean, uh, Scrafty will do the next move. Do another scary face. My speed goes down further by two levels. Here comes the Electro Ball again. Damage is still the same. Got high jump kick. This one is dangerous, and Magnus Zone is one hit KO'd. Yeah, Hard Jump Kick has a lot of power, but it it can miss. And if you do miss, you will lose half of your max health. So it's very, very dangerous to use Hard Jump Kick, but if you do have faith in yourself, well, you will be scoring high if you hit, and you will be failing hardcore if you miss. Let's get in Simipore, finish this one off, let's use Surf. Let's get some water drenching onto the Scrafty, and it will go down like that. And Simipore is level 36. Oh, it was my turn next. Your turn for what exactly? Oh well, not like, like that matters. Uh, we need to heal a bit. We took some uh, damage from that last fight, and we also need to get uh, reviving up on our Pokemon. Let's revive. Let's use our Magnezone. And then we need to give him some healing as well. This is a Hyper Potion. Don't even need to, but let's just use it. Magnezone is back to full health. Let's also switch our team around. Magnezone is fine to use, but I want to get my Crocorock evolving for the last time, so we need to get some more XP for that one first. Then we have our fully team evolved. Let's continue up here, Route 13. It says, Trainer Chips. Change your type on the trainer card to change how other players see you. You look different than others in the Union Room and the Tag Log. Match it with your introduction or character to show you individuality. Individuality, indeed. Go up here as well if you want to. Um, not really much need to do it though. You can just go up the beachways. Including some trainers as well to fight. A woman standing alone with a parasol in one hand at the beach. Hi, please have a battle with me. Alright, so she just introduced herself and then she says to battle. Okay, let's just battle then against Parasol Lady Laura with Cast Warm. So here we have the special weather Pokemon, so Cast Warm. 
will change its type and move sets depending on the weather. So it can also become dangerous and also become rather weak. But in general, I think Castform is just too weak by itself. So it needs to have a weather effect to be useful. If not, it's going to be rather, rather crap. Let's just go Bulldoze on the Castform. Damage the light, speed will dice go down. Castform with Blizzard. A very powerful ice move, the best ice move in the game. And that's a 1 hit KO on Krokorok. Wow. I do remember Krokorok is very weak when it comes to defensive power, so it, it won't really survive for long. I expect it to be survive a bit longer than that, though. Oh well. Ah, <sighs> that was too bad. Let's get another pheasant here. We haven't seen a pheasant since it evolved from Tranquil. Here it is. And pheasant. Air Slash, please. Air Slash is used. Damage is okay. We we'll flinch to cast form. We can do another attack. Air Slash again. And this time it will go down. It would be better than use Blizzard. They're gonna kill me as well from that one. Growl is level 34. I also learned Flamethrower. Which is one of the best moves you want to use because look at the Flame Burst power. 70 power. Flamethrower. 95. Now we're talking. So of course let's get rid of Flame Burst to get in Flamethrower. One of the best special attacks for fire by far. Fire Blast has more power but it has reduced uh, accuracy. My Parasol can block Ultraviolet Rays. They can't block moves. Yeah, of course. It would be a bit weird if you could block everything. Yes, you can't. What's this house? I'm really annoyed by that Team Plasma said in the past. So I live with Pokemon without putting them in Pokeballs. Pamper doesn't listen to me at all. That's unfortunate. The creation of Pokeballs made it possible for everyone to be with Pokemon. Yes, everyone. Of course, that means both us and the bad guys. That's, a good, that's kinda weird though. How many people have you heard about having a house in the middle of a beach? Not like it's a bad thing, but generally, why would you have a poke why would you have things like that on a beach? I don't get it. Well, let's get Crocorock up again because we don't really get any XP for him if he is down and out. We get one killed by a freaking cast form, so that's a bit lame. But that's life. Let's see, we can use uh, lemonade. Actually, did Solar Pop here as well? Solar Pop is better because Solar Pop will heal him to full. There we go. We go up here. Then we have a bridge here, which is basically the way we could go from. But when we approach here, look who it is! It's a legendary Pokemon! We can't get through because we need to use Cut. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, unfortunate. But yes, Cobalion, the legendary Pokemon, is right in front of us and we want to fight it. Of course, you don't need to, of course, but you really want to do it because now is our chance to catch it. Of course, if you do fight it and you KO it, don't worry. If you beat the Elite Four and the Champion and come back here afterwards, Cobalion will be back. If you KO it again, beat the Elite Four and the Champion again, then you'll be able to fight Cobalion again. But of course, you want to capture it the first time, right? So next time, guys, we're going to capture Cobalion for sure. We're going to fight him, we're going to capture him, and then we're going to move on. And yes, that also means that the other two Swords of Justice, which is, of course, Virizion and Terrakion, will be somewhere near, maybe not super near, but at least they are closer and closer. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. And that's it for now, so see you guys next time as my journey in Pokemon Black 2 continues.